the next supposed item on this leaked, rumoredly, confirmation of what Marvel's going to be talking about at Comic-Con is the Armor Wars logo revealed. Now, I, I, obviously, they Armor Wars is something they've talked about for a long time. It was originally announced as a Disney Plus series. Later on, they announced that they had changed gears Right move, by the way, and they were going to make it a feature film. We haven't heard anything coming out about it since. So the thing is here, we're going to get Armor Wars official logo and probably a release date. I'm going to give this one up. I was going to say 40, 35% chance. 35% chance I'll give this one. Because I don't know if they're in a place right now where they're ready to announce that. And I think with the Blade situation... <coughs> I think maybe Kevin Feige has been getting a, is going to be a little bit more cautious about what they are and are not. It's, uh, some guys in the live chat, like Clark, is saying eighty five percent. Hope so. Oh, wow. Because I I actually really like the sounds of Armor Wars, because especially with the end of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, with the way they set it up, I, if that was the setup for it, and I love Don Cheadle, put John Cheadle. I've been in love with Don Cheadle as a performer ever since Hotel Rwanda. So, I mean, give him his shining spotlight and we're ready to go. But I'm going to say it's probably a 35%. All right. The next one that they say we're going to get is our first trailer for Thunderbolts. Hmm. Now, we've been saying for a while we think they're going to show a first trailer for Thunderbolts. We know, I mean, so I don't think they're completely wrapped on it yet, but we know a number of the stars of the film are already done. Like David Harbour finished his the other week. I heard about one or two of the other cast members finished theirs the other week. They got to be getting really close to finishing the entire thing. And remember, they dropped their first trailer for the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie after they had only been shooting the movie for two weeks. And they came to Comic-Con two weeks after they started shooting and still had a little teaser. So I, we've all thought this was going to happen. I'm going to go out and give 100%. 100% that we're going to get our first trailer for Thunderbolts. Uh, but I'll also tell you this, unless you're going to Comic-Con, uh, don't get too excited because they're going to show this to the audience at Comic-Con. I don't think they're going to drop it to online. drop it, right? Yeah, at least not for a while. Mm -hmm. At least not for a while. So there's that. All right. So I'm going to give 100% to the trailer for Thunderbolts. Next up, that they say is going to be happening at this Marvel uh, Hall H presentation is the full cast of Fantastic Four on stage. The full cast. Now, this, I think, is an absolute no-brainer, depending on how you define full cast. Because they made the announcement of our Fantastic Four, but we have, as of yet, had the opportunity to see all of them together. And wait a minute, correct me if I'm wrong, did they not already start shooting? Uh, I thought I read they might have started shooting the movie already, or they start shooting it in like the week. No, you know what? I think I'm wrong about that. I think they start shooting it the week after Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. I think that's when they do. At any rate, so this is going to be the first time that they actually get the full cast together and get them on a stage. Now, of course, we're going to get our Galactus up there. We're going to get Pedro. We're going to get, I mean, we're going to get the whole squad up there, right? What a lot of people are going to be questioning is whether Dr. Doom. I get a ton of people ask me, when are we going to get the announcement for who's Dr. Doom? To which I reply, who cares? John, you said you think Dr. Doom is one of the greatest comic villains of all time. Yes, but I'm not 100% sure Dr. Doom's even in the movie. And even if he is, I think it's just going to be a tiny, tiny spot. I think they're going to be focusing on Galactus primarily, um, Silver Surfer a little bit. And so even if they have Dr. Doom in this movie, I don't think Dr. Doom's going to be playing a very relevant role. So I don't know if they're ready to announce Doom yet. And so we'll see. We'll see. Or maybe they bring out Doom and then we find out he's got a lot more to do in the movie than we thought. But anyway, getting the cast, as far as the basic idea of getting the cast on stage... I got to say that's that's 100% because that's that's something we all yeah, thought was going to happen. Anyway. What's that? Why wouldn't you do that? You know? Yeah, why wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Right? And listen, Kevin Feige at Comic-Con's past, he's that's he likes to do that. Yeah. He likes I mean, he's the boss, right? He puts out word, "I want you there." Even I mean, sometimes I've been amazed at who they get to come out on stage at Comic-Con 
They literally fly them from London or Paris or New York or what they literally fly them in so they can come on stage for 15 seconds say and wave hands and that's it but Kevin likes it so yeah why on earth would they not do it guys we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode Liquid IV. You know, the Summer Olympics are here. I cannot wait for basketball, track and field. Hell, they've even got break dancing in France this year. And with the Summer Olympics in full swing, hydration is key for athletes and fans. Liquid IV is extraordinary hydration for physical endurance, mental clarity, and overall well-being. A single stick of Liquid IV delivers better hydration than water alone with three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink, plus eight vitamins and nutrients. One of the things I love about Liquid IV is how easy it is for me to prepare. All I have to do is tear, pour, and enjoy. In the heat of the summer, whether you're out golfing, out walking, or just sitting on the back patio, you need to stay hydrated, and that's where Liquid IV comes in clutch. Liquid IV is the number one powdered hydration brand in America, and it comes in four delicious sugar-free flavors, white peach, green grape, raspberry melon, and lemon lime. So turn your ordinary water into extraordinary hydration with Liquid IV. Get 20% off your first order of Liquid IV when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code CAMP at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code CAMPIA at liquidiv.com. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.